Speaking on ED alternatives, I think we have to look at the immediate social political climate and what's happening in Australia is we are having this kind of fantasy of an alternative to ED but within the system that we've got. So the northwest of Australia is tendering for an ED cafe style, South Australia is coming up with its urgent mental health care centre or whatever it is, um, Sydney's got something, Melbourne's got something, but they all fall within the structures of the mental health system and as such, this really important point, as such they fall under the legislation of the Mental Health Acts. And so much more. My name's Matt Ball. I'm a person who has lived experience. I'm a nurse practitioner, I'm a psychotherapist, I'm a dad, I'm a friend, I'm a business owner, um, and I'm a vulnerable human like all the others. All the things we know and all the rules we have, what does it look like if we step outside of that and take the views of many? Now, what we've come up with is that we have to run an ED alternative outside of the mental health system, partly for the legislated responsibilities of clinical professionals, um, partly because we actually think the healing in community is going to come from the same place where the wounds have come from. So in the same houses and homes and streets where people have been wounded and led to them being in crisis, well, in that street there's probably another member of the community that wants to offer healing and connection and compassion and love. Um, so what we're suggesting is that a genuine alternative to, the, to how you support people in mental health crisis is not to take people out of their communities but to maintain spaces within the communities uh, to find that safety and, and healing. Our model then is to look at emotional CPR, which is a lived experience model that comes from the National Empowerment Centre in America. Um, Dan Fisher and Oryx Cohen and Lauren Spiro, but also contributors like Jenny Speed from Australia. So this model started in America, but with influences from Australia, um, and is a model that says that if I am isolated and alone, I'm, I'm much, much less powerful and in, in finding connection through resonating as common human realities. So whatever you're feeling, I can notice how I feel when you're feeling that. And I can tell you that. And in that we connect. And through that connection we move towards a sense of mutuality. Um, and rather than you being on your own, you're now in a relationship and an emotional space with me. And we're more powerful when we're together. And when we're more powerful, we start to think about the possibilities in a much clearer way. Um, and then we can move into spaces of feeling revitalised, like I came in here distressed and overwhelmed. I never thought someone would be able to notice and feel how I'm feeling, and you can. And that just feels amazing. And being that I came in here not knowing what that was going to be like, and now I do know what it's like, I wonder whether I could come back tomorrow if I feel like this again. And the answer would be yes, because just as I know what it's like to be distressed two days on the trot, so would you. That's not about mental illness, that's about human experience. So eCPR is a model that we're going to teach a bunch of community volunteers to come and find mutuality and we're also going to offer people Just Listening which is a taken from sidewalk talk and really the idea behind Just Listening is that anyone in the community could deeply listen and witness the story of another and as Lucy Johnson is or the Power Threat Meaning Framework said, which is the, the first author Lucy Johnson said, it's a universal human capacity to tell stories and find meaning. So just listening is concerned with the justice of my story or your story being witnessed and heard, and in that telling of that story, I might hear it differently. I might make new meaning out of it. And equally, you might have new meaning in your life hearing my story. So both eCPR and just listening are these mutual spaces that say you come in in distress and by me offering myself and my heart and my intention to deeply listen not only do you feel connected but I feel connected and we walk away together feeling more powerful and more energized to face the future together. So this is a fairly unique alternative to the mental health system which says professionals have an idea of what's wrong, will risk assess you, will decide how much you can take part in your treatment planning because we know best so the alternative which we're offering is we believe that community knows what's best for community and the important thing is how we find places to come together in connection so we can create mutuality and mutual power towards walking away from the problems. And so much more.